everybody and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a new weekly reading vlog. I hope this week is going to be a better reading week than last week was because I finished one book right at the beginning of the week on Monday and then read 200 pages after that and <laughs> didn't finish another book. My June reading is awful, it's shocking. I think I've read three books maybe, three, three or four, which for me in lockdown isn't great considering I've only got a week and a couple of days left of the month but hey ho. So uh, this week obviously um, if you've watched uh, last week's vlog you'll know that I am 200 pages into On the Come Up by Angie Thomas. I am listening to this on audio as well as reading it physically along because there are rap sections in this which are, are actually wrapped and it, it's really cool on the audiobook so I thought I'd double up and again this is kind of like a fail safe for if there's any noise around me it doesn't matter I can plug in my headphones and read this and I can get some reading in that in theory should have worked last week but it didn't um 200 pages is just shy of halfway through so I am really enjoying this so far. I'm feeling like now I'm halfway through. We're kind of getting to the point where we're we're kind of getting to the climax almost of um, the the main character Brie kind of really coming to terms with her identity, who she identifies with, what she identifies with, and it's just really interesting. And it was quite nice to have a couple of um, obviously it's set in the same um, place, the same fictional place as uh, the Hate You Give. So it's really quite nice to have a couple of things dropped in that you kind of go oh yeah like little details from the hate you give kind of tie them both into each other uh, but really been enjoying it so far and like I say looking forward to finishing it I would like to finish it in like the next day or two if possible so I do really want to make a start on The Four Swans by Winston Graham this is the sixth Poldark book and then once I finish this I'm officially halfway through the series so I do really want to make some progress through this um, and get this finished if I can this week as well. It's a bit of a chunker. How many pages is it? Let's find out. 581. Yeah, 581 pages. So it's a nearly 600 page book. Um, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to tackle this, like whether I'm going to download the audiobook and try and double up doing both if I'm just going to try and read it physically. My other half is back at work this week, it's his first day back today, he has already called me and said don't know if we're going to make it till five o'clock because they're all already like really struggling. Basically he's spending his first week, he is in retail management, he's spending his first week in store um, without the shop open, literally just prepping the shop for customers, um, there's lots that needs to be done, there's obviously needs to be a massive promotion change because it's been shut since like the end of March there's going to be massive promotion change they need to do lots of price changes that need to be done the shop has to be kind of a little bit reconfigured in a sense of making sure there's plenty of space for people to queue people to enter to leave um, and everything like that so it's going to be quite a big undertaking to get it done so they've got a whole week to do that and sort that things like rotors how many people are they allowed physically to have working They've got to ensure that their deliveries are being done outside of working hours. So, yeah, it's all a little bit, um, it's going to be quite a hard week for him. And this, he's just got three people in, him and two others. So um, he said to me, he called me just after his lunch and he was like, we're already like really struggling and we're not sure we're going to make it <laughs> till the five o'clock. Like they'd kind of planned to do nine till five whilst they're prepping the shop. But so I don't really know if I need to have the audio for this because obviously during the day I'm going to be on my own as a sense of, you know, I'm not going to have anyone in the background doing anything else that could potentially distract me. So not quite sure how I'm going to tackle this, but want to tackle it. I think I might do this, mark this with my magnetic bookmarks, quarter, half, three quarters, and then maybe have... Um, a, th a fourth marker which is kind of like my end goal for the day like where I want to be by the end of the day or keep me going 50 pages at a time something like that I'm not quite sure um but this does I would really like to get this read this week because I've only got a couple of days next week before the end of the month and then if I finish this before the end of the week I can make progress through a couple of other books um or finish another book get another book done uh but getting it done and getting this started now is uh you know much better position to be in so like i say i want to try and finish this in the next couple of days so that i can tackle this from sort of like midweek onwards and really tackle it and get it done and get it read 
I make it sound like it's a hardship to read them but they aren't the easiest books to read and they can be a little bit time consuming so kind of trying to do this now rather than waiting and waiting till later on in the week will be potentially a little bit of an issue to ensure I definitely get it finished in time and I don't want to on the sixth month halfway through I don't want to fall behind and not finish it um especially considering I've done like not a lot in lockdown so like I've got no reason why I've fallen behind if that makes sense so yeah the four swans and on the come up and I might even start this before I finish this and maybe like 50 pages worth of one 50 pages of the other might even be an idea so that's this week's reading plans um I'm not gonna say oh when I'm done with them I'll try maybe do this or do that because I just want to get those two done at the moment and then we'll discuss anything else as and when we get there but yeah I hope this week's vlog can maybe be a little bit more actual reading content heavy and actually be a little bit more like oh it's the end of the day I've managed to read x amount of pages today or oh it's Tuesday morning <laughs> because you know that would be really good that I'm actually you know vlogging about my reading in a weekly reading vlog would be quite handy um I don't have any solid plan for this week like I said other than just my other half is at work um so I haven't got anything planned I've still not heard anything from my workplace so I still don't know where I stand with regards to returning to work so I'm kind of just seeing this maybe as my, potentially my last full week um out of work I'm, I'm not sure um we kind of think we'll be contacted at the beginning of um July end of June beginning of July so um I'm kind of thinking like really really use this week for good and uh, really work on really work on kind of getting getting somewhere with my reading really focus on reading before I do have to go back to work and a sense of normality which will be difficult anyway I'm gonna stop blabbering on now it's um just coming up to quarter to one in the afternoon so I haven't done any reading yet today I had um I had to call up a company and I was on hold for 37 minutes and then the person that I spoke to helped me and basically sorted my problem out in about three uh, <laughs> which is always really super frustrating I never really know how long is too long to be on hold and when to get annoyed that you've been on hold for so long and when not and time feels like it drags on for so much longer when you're on hold on the telephone but then to be on the phone for three minutes and my problem solved when I've been on hold for 37. Anyway, positive vibes only. <laughs> um, so I'm going to crack on with some reading. I'm going to have a bit of lunch, I think. And um, also need to um, edit and upload last week's vlog as well at some point today if I can. So... Hopefully I've got lots to keep me going, lots to keep me occupied and like I said really focusing this week on getting some decent reading done, get my reading mojo back because this might be the last full week, we don't know and I'd hate to spend this week just being a complete nutter bum and not doing much of anything because that would then be a bit of a bit of a negative end to lockdown so let's be positive, let's have a good week and let's get lots of pages read. So I've got my bookshelves here behind me and I, I kind of feel like I need to uh, rearrange them all but my bookshelves kind of, my books rather, kind of start moving on to this shelving unit I've got next to a bookshelf and we're at the point where we are saving up for our own place and my bookshelves and my books just need a whole massive reorganisation really but until we've actually bought somewhere which we're in the process of saving up for a deposit for a mortgage and we're really really close but still not quite there I don't want to be buying any new furniture because obviously it might not fit into the new place I want to wait until we're there and then obviously go from there but my books are kind of stressing me out I mean these top two shelves aren't too bad apart from the fact that that top shelf is double stacked obviously there's a little b um cuddly toy on there but then once you get down here uh, I mean I've got an epilator there why have I got my epilator on my bookshelves Christ knows uh and obviously round here just kind of gets progressively worse I've got a Harry Potter shelf I've got a candle lit there it's kind of like my Sarah J Mass area and manga and then um this is like TBR stuff um but yeah it's stressing me out a little bit but hey ho I kind of feel like I want to try and get a little bit more organization to it but don't want to waste my time at the same don't want to waste my time either so yeah. 
So I've just been out and got a copy of the newspaper. I'm doing a fitness challenge and the um, photos that you take of yourself at the beginning and at the end have to have a newspaper in them to prove the date that you took them. Um, so I forgot to go out this morning to buy a newspaper, but I'm just going to wait till my other half gets home from work and then he can take me my pictures. Um, you've got to take them at the same spot and everything to see my progress for three weeks. It's uh, just coming up to four o'clock. I also got some treats at the shop my other half. He really likes these Smarties buttons. And he also likes peanut m and So when they're on offer, I always grab a couple of bags. And I thought I'd just update you. Um, I've read just over 50 pages on the come up this afternoon. And I have had a bit of a play on Animal Crossing. And I've been playing with my Tia amiibo. So I've had Tia come to my campsite. Um, I didn't realise. I'm going to just message Zara and just... I ain't going off my back pocket. I'm going to message Zara, who was the uh, person that introduced me to her site where you can get them from. But I'm just going to check with her and see if um, I'm right in thinking that even if you've got a full capacity, you can still invite them from your campsite to live and they knock someone out. I think they do. So I'm just going to message her now because I've seen something in a couple of places and I've gone, actually, I think I can still invite them and still invite them to come and live on my island even though I've got a full capacity island. So fingers crossed. Um, so yeah, I've just had a little play with that, just seeing how they work and bringing um, a new character to the island that I haven't brought to the island before with the Amiibos. Um, and yeah, I'm going to sit down now and read a bit more of On The Come Up until my other half gets home. I'm not sure what time to expect him, to be fair. They've had some technical difficulties from the sound of things. Um, they had no internet, so there's only so much they can do in store when they've not got the internet to do all of the administrative stuff that he thought he was going to do today he's not been able to do so they've been doing quite a lot of physical work moving big heavy things to start making space around the store so yeah he's said he was already really knickknacked at like midday so fingers crossed he's okay so I'm not sure whether he's going to stay till five o'clock as expected or whether he's due to come home before um if the internet's still out there's going to be only so much he can do so yeah i'm going to plan on sitting and reading some more of this um like i said i've already read 50 pages so trying to get maybe 100 150 pages total read today would be amazing so it is tuesday now and i thought i would just um talk to you about a couple of things Excuse the way I look, this morning I actually got up and did a 30 minute dance workout, a fitness martial dance workout, which um, I don't know if um, people will really be interested about me talking about my weight loss and fitness journey here on this channel, because it is obviously supposed to be about books, but it is something that I'm going through at the moment. If you'd prefer just to have maybe more weekly vlogs and me touch on my reading and the other things going on in my life, then let me know. So I did do a 30 minute workout uh, this morning and that felt really good. It's my first sort of proper workout on this weight loss journey. I decided to try and lose a little bit of weight first and do some more light exercise like walks and things before going into heavy. So it felt really good to do. I'm now just sat in bed. I am watching um, some kind of like inspiration videos really on YouTube about people that share their weight loss journeys, which is really quite good and really quite motivational. And I'm just uh, sitting down eating my lunch. I thought I'd show you what I'm eating. I plan to read a little bit after I've watched this last video um, and I'll show you my lunch and I'll show you um, how far I've got through on the come up yesterday. I don't know why, but these sheets never look nice like even when I pull the cover on nicely so excuse the messy sheets but I've just got two rice cakes um they have got cottage cheese onion and chive cottage cheese on them I sliced up a uh, half of a cooked uh, chicken breast and I have just topped them with some cucumber I've got some tomato and I've got some cucumber as well I find it really nice to avoid like crisps and things like that to have something that is still a bit crunchy and for a bit of saltiness, um, I, that's got a bit of halloumi there. I really like halloumi and it's something um, something that you can have and not feel too guilty about. It's a lighter um, halloumi as well. So yeah, this is my lunch. I'm going to eat that now. So here's on the come up. And yesterday I got to, to page 289. So that I was on page 200 when I started. So that meant that yesterday on Monday I read 289 pages. Let's see how far I can get through it today. So it's now Wednesday. Excuse the setup and everything. This is the best you're going to get today. 
I did this morning, um, I don't know if I talked about it yesterday, but I think I might have done. Um, I did a half an hour dance workout again, uh, feeling really good. Um, and then what I decided to do was I decided to do the first hit workout in the body boss challenge um i bought the body boss workout um ages ago probably over a year ago and i think i maybe did one or two workouts from it and didn't continue with it just because i kind of had this idea that i didn't have enough space or the right sort of area to do it in in the house um anyway so i thought i'd do the dance workouts because kind of like my warm-up then do the stretches the um the hit workout and then do the cool down stretches as well so that was about an hour's worth just over an hour i think of uh workout which was really good um it is now coming up to half past 12 um i'm just having some lunch a very similar lunch to yesterday but i've run out of cucumber so rather than having cucumber on top of my rice cakes and cottage cheese i've got uh tomato i think i might have to pop to the shops and just get a couple of bits because we're a little bit low on a few things that i can really snack on and eat uh, throughout the day throughout the day and not feel guilty about i've also got some posts i've got to go through uh, like a pen pal letter and just some bumpy posts that i've got um and i finished on the come up yesterday so I just kind of kept reading and reading and reading. And then in the evening when we'd had our dinner, I was like, look, I've only got about 40 pages left. I'd just like to get it finished. My other half said, yeah, yeah, not a problem. He amused himself. I think he played a bit of computer game. And I finished on the come up and I really enjoyed it. But the ending was such a like cliffhanger. I hope they're going to do it like another book. I did see that Andrew Thomas has got another book on the horizon, but I didn't do enough research into it. So I'm going to have a little look into that and see if it links with this one at all. Because I was like, oh my God. Um, so yeah, really, really enjoyed it. Really, really good story for sort of like coming of age, identity, who you are, who you portray yourself to be. Really, really interesting themes in this one. Um, and uh, yeah, really, really enjoyed it. So I'm going to move on to The Four Swans next, but I haven't picked it up yet, uh, which is the sixth Poldark book. And um, I'm going to sit down now, eat my lunch and go into maybe watch a little bit of YouTube, but maybe make a start on my next book. So I have just come to put all the clips together for uh, this week's for weekly reading vlog, start editing it all together and realised that we got to Wednesday and I kind of petered off and I did no other vlog updates. So apologies for that. So this is a little bit of a delayed end, but just wanted to say uh, that I did actually manage to pick up the four swans. Um, like I discussed in my last clip, I'd finished on the come up and I wanted to start the four swans. I didn't make as much progress as I wanted to through it, but I did get to open made this much progress through it um which was page to page 172 um and obviously this will need to be the focus for the beginning of next week to get this in before the end of the month so monday tuesday next week is going to be intense uh 410 ish pages i've got to read of this um to get this read but um yeah, a little bit frustrated I didn't make much progress. Kind of my attention span petered off towards the end of the week. And uh, yeah, I don't really know. I think I'm just a bit slumpy with my reading. And um, I think I need to stick to a few things that are just going to kind of keep me intrigued and kind of keep me going and keep the pace up a little bit. So, um, but the good thing is I started it and I did make progress through it. Nearly 200 pages progress. So, you know we're doing all right we're doing all right uh so yeah thank you so much for watching this week's weekly reading vlog i did a few different sort of uh clips this week i kind of showed you some of my lunches talked a little bit more about my weight loss and fitness journey um and please let me know if that's um content that you're interested in or if you want me to just to stick mostly to sort of like the reading stuff then please just let me know i'm the sort of person that um when there's something going on in my life that I'm really focusing on, it becomes quite a big focus for me. Um, and so, for instance, reading has maybe taken a bit of a backseat because I've been focusing on my workouts and my eating. Um, but I would like to still document it to some uh, degree in these vlogs because this is not just a reading vlog. It's kind of like a life vlog, in my opinion. So, yeah, I'd love some feedback on that. Are you happy for me to include those sorts of clips? And it was just a little bit more of a relaxed vlog last week. I didn't think I even took a single clip, sat in the other room, 
you know kind of a more of a professional um sit down setup so i hope you enjoyed sorry for some of the um angles this week but um just wanted to make it a little bit more relaxed and a little bit more me really and just a little bit more chill so i hope you enjoyed as always i'd love to hear about what you've been reading this week and what you've been getting up to i know a lot of the shops are now open so has anyone been out um has anyone um been out done a bit of shopping done some book shopping obviously last week i i did go to waterstones so um have any of you guys been as well i'd love to hear all about it um but thank you for watching and i'll see you all in the next one bye